Phillips. These are our closest cousins, the great apes. We like to think we're different. But a few million years ago, we were just the same. Now we dominate the planet. Somehow, we humans have left apes far behind. Or have we? Through a series of experiments, we'll prove that apes are much closer to us than anyone thought. Startling images reveal that their instant memory is far superior to ours. Lettuce. Apes can understand hundreds of words. <laughs> they have a form of language. <laughs> and they use more complex tools than anyone realized. By looking at the differences and similarities between apes and us, we may find the secret ingredient that makes apes apes and humans human. Of the 10 million or more different species in the world, some creatures are much closer to us than others. We share 40% of our DNA with worms, 60% of our genes with chickens, 80% with mice, and nearly 100% with these, the great apes. Our DNA is so similar because humans evolved from the same branch of the tree of life. Our most distant cousin among the great apes is the orangutan. They split away from us 11 million years ago. Today, orangutans live only in Asia. They spend almost all their time in the trees. We don't look much like them, but we share up to 96.4% of our DNA. Then, about 8 million years ago, the branch leading to gorillas split off. Gorillas are the largest of all the great apes. They may look fierce, but these are gentle vegetarians. They live in pockets of rainforest across Africa, and we share as much as 97.7% of their DNA. Around 5 million years ago, another branch split away. This produced our nearest living relatives, the chimps and bonobos. Bonobos are the so-called hippies of the ape world. They use sex to keep the peace, but their range is limited to a small area of the Congo. Chimpanzees live right across equatorial Africa. They are altogether less peaceful. Both chimps and bonobos share over 98% of their DNA with us. And now the chimpanzee showboat, starring that veteran of the boards, Captain Roy. Even before we knew about DNA, we knew that apes were a lot like us. They can do many things as well as we can, sometimes better. But despite these similarities, apes are still swinging from tree to tree, and we are travelling through space. So how did this happen? What do we have that apes don't? What exactly is in that 1.6% difference of DNA that makes us human? The most obvious difference is our physical appearance. Or is it? The startling image of a 4D ultrasound scan. This fetus is five months old. And so is this one. The skeletons match each other bone for bone. And both hearts pump at a similar rate, around 140 beats per minute. Only one of these is human. The other is a bonobo. The large head, fine fingers and familiar fetal position suggest this one could be human. It's not. It's a baby bonobo. Even after birth, humans and apes are physically similar. 
But the most obvious difference seems to be the amount of hair. Apes are hairy. This chimpanzee's body is covered in around five million hairs. But look closely, and the baby's not so different. It has the same number of hairs as the chimpanzee. Humans and apes all have around 3,000 hairs per square inch. Ours are thinner and smaller. The similarities don't stop there. As they start to take notice of the world around them, baby chimpanzees behave like human babies and begin to explore their environment. Both baby and chimpanzee are ticklish. And both have similar reflex reactions. Stroke a baby's palm and it closes its fingers. It's a throwback to our ancestry. It's the same reflex that helps infant apes survive. They cling to their mother's fur soon after they're born. We may have many physical similarities, but to really understand what makes us human, we need to pinpoint scientifically the differences between us and our ape cousins. Our first experiment is a simple test of recognition. We take it for granted, but self-recognition is a fundamental building block of human society. We exist as individuals, each with our own unique features. Scientists believe self-recognition is essential for our survival. We can live in large groups because we recognize similar features to our own in others. We can tell friend from foe. But is self-recognition uniquely human? Show a monkey a mirror and it thinks it's another monkey. It attacks. But how will our closer relatives, the great apes, react when faced with their own image? This three-year-old chimpanzee has never seen a mirror before. He's not sure what to make of it. Erect fur is usually a sign of fear or anger. But his fear is soon replaced by curiosity. When chimps uh, see themselves in mirrors for the first time, they naturally assume it's another chimp, the way a human being who's never seen themselves before does, and begin to play with the mirror image. Soon, this chimp will know it's looking at itself. Just like these older chimps, they know exactly what mirrors do. This chimp appears to know that that's her tongue and those are her teeth. Chimpanzees seem to have a concept of the bodily self that allows them to look into a mirror and say, that image is equivalent to this body. But how can we prove that humans and chimpanzees really identify the figure in the mirror as themselves? Yeah. Psychologists have a well-known test for this. It's called the Mark Test. A researcher marks a child's cheek. The child then looks in a mirror. He moves his hand up to the mark. He recognizes himself. By the age of two, half of all children tested can recognize themselves. 
Soon they all do.